Hello everyone, this week I'm going to discuss the new Mindstorms EV3 software and I'm also going to demonstrate how it has fixed the EV3 VM instruction break error. Last week, LEGO released a new patch for the Mindstorms EV3 software. This is version 1.2.2 and I've already made a video on exactly what problem they were trying to solve in this patch and how they went about doing that. So if you haven't seen last week's video on the VM instruction break error, I would encourage you to go see that first because I'm going to explain uh, in more detail what happened. But to make a really long story short, um, LEGO fixed the underlying error, the branching error, that was causing the VM instruction break error. Now I know a lot of FLL teams and WRO teams have been coming up against this issue and I'm happy to announce that you will no longer have to worry about this issue thanks to this new software patch. Now what I want to do this week is run a sample of code that was compiled with the old software and show that it um, gives you the VM error and I'm then going to upgrade my software to the new version 1.2.2 the fixed version and I'm going to then compile the same exact code in the new software and run it and see if it causes the error. So let's do that right now. Now here are the EV3 code samples that we're going to be working with today. These are the ones that we're going to test in both the old and the new versions of the software. This project file is entitled badbranch.ev3 and this was provided by David Gilday for me to test for you guys today. And there are three different programs in this project. Good sample 1, good sample 2, and finally bad sample. Now all of these do more or less the same thing. They're almost the same exact program. Um, they allow you to set a time on the EV3 screen using the EV3 buttons and then after you've entered a time it will run the connected motor, in this case motor A, for the amount of time that you've set it. And like I said they're all more or less identical with the one exception is that bad sample is going to cause the virtual machine error um, and what happens is it's actually in this program is going to be the wait for brick buttons block that's going to cause this error so uh, there are no my blocks involved in the program but it's going to be the wait for brick buttons that are shown here and here these are the ones that are going to be causing our error and I'm going to test both the good sample and the bad sample in the old software first version 1.2.1 and I'm going to show you the good sample which works, the bad sample which doesn't work, then I'm going to upgrade my software to the new version 1.2.2 and show you bad sample working again. So first I would like to run the good sample program using the old version of the software. Now this is the one that I said is going to be the one that works and we see that it does. When I open up the program uh, it's going to allow us to enter in a desired time using the brick buttons in hours and minutes and then after you've entered in your desired time you click the the middle button again and it's going to run the motor for a time that's proportional to the time that you've entered and as we can see here it works next we're gonna try out the bad sample which I've also compiled using the old software as soon as we start the program when we go to this first screen where normally we'd be able to press the middle button and move on to where we can enter our desired time in hours and minutes we can't as you see no matter how many times I press the middle button it's not going to advance it's past this part and just as I said before this is the VM error being triggered by the wait brick buttons block okay guys so I just went through the steps to update my software and I'm now using version 1.2.2 and if you would like to check the version of the software that you currently have what you can do is you go up to the top here you go to help and then you click on about Lego Mindstorms EV3 and that's going to give you the version that you're currently running and so we can see here that I have the newest version 1.2.2 installed right here now I've recompiled the bad sample program using the new version of the software and let's start it now as you can see whereas the bad sample with the old version of the software got frozen at the first part of the program and we couldn't advance anymore what we can now do with this version of the program is advance past and we are now able to set a time in hours and minutes 
and after we get to the end of that we press the start button and it will run the motor proportional to the time we entered so as we see the bad sample now functions exactly like the good sample before it doesn't show any errors and it doesn't freeze at all so we can now conclude that the new version of the EV3 software that was just released has resolved the error that we had with the old version of the software now it does not have any error or freezing associated with the brick buttons which like I said caused the VM error so the problem is now resolved Thanks for watching my tutorial this week. If you found it helpful, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this every week. And if you have an idea for a tutorial, be sure to submit it in the comments section below. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.